Disclaimer, this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm a simple guy on YouTube showing you my journey on how I'm making passive income. Make sure you do your own research. Don't invest money that you can't afford to lose. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, D -D 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 Dap, host of the Nova Mindset channel, guys. Before I get going, make sure that you subscribe to the channel because this is the latest, greatest, unofficial mindset training of Nova. Nova in the Latin term means new. You got to renew your mind and understand that wealth is not a dollar amount. It's a mindset. And with that being said, guys, I want to literally share with you guys an excerpt of an audio that was literally recorded from a, 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 a meeting that took place a couple of days ago. So I'm recording this on February 28th, 2023. All right. It happens to be Tuesday. Terrific Tuesday, that is. And um, this was an excerpt that was recorded, um, I want to say, on Friday. All right. And uh, this is Cynthia Petion, the CEO of Novatech FX, talking to some of her leaders about the sentiment of everything that's going on. Also talking about some of the changes that they have made here in the month of February and trying to catch up on some of the ROI withdrawals. Hey, guys. Good morning. How's it going? So first, I want to say thank you for you guys being here. It, it means a great deal to me that the small group of leaders that have been here for so long and been with us for so long, um, you guys are still willing to hang out and help us come up with ideas and take a vested interest in, in the business and us personally as people. So for that, I want to say thank you. We love you. And um, thank you for everything that you do. So with that said, all right, one of the things I strongly dislike about this type of business that we're in is the fickleness of the market, the people sometimes who invest with us and, 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 and things like that. Things go up, they go down, they go up, they go down on a regular basis. We've always tried to maintain a very steady level of sustainability and profitability so that people can come to expect a certain level of uh, performance from us right now with that said not everybody likes what we do but we do it we do it well we've done it for a very long time this is not the first time that we've run into difficulties and we've always overcome it it is not our intention ever to go away or stop performing or anything like that too many people rely on us and it's the reason why we do what we do all right so I wish I can give people the calmness that we feel internally ourselves, knowing that things are under control and improving every day. And I know people don't always see what goes on in the background. And, you know, as leaders, and we have to sometimes just, you know, be mindful and careful of things that we say and do. And, you know, just to make sure that we're conveying the correct message at all times. All right, but just to give you guys a quick update, because I know that's what everybody wants. Um, we, like I said, made some changes with our system. Unfortunately, the system that we had was not able to keep up with the uh, amount of payments and transactions that we do on a daily basis and to send them out, which is why we decided to make a transition to Quickie Pay. It is preferable that everybody uses Quickie Pay, both for you know payments and the withdrawals are under our control, but. It just helps to solidify that so that we can find any kinks also that are within the system so that we can make corrections as needed. Right now, we've kind of been tiptoeing between coin payments and quickie pay. Um, you know, and if people want to continue to use coin payments, that's fine. But to me, the level of service and the speed at which we can do things through quickie pay far outranks coin payments, and I would rather use that as, as a, a payment processing system. All right, but again, the decision as of right now is still on the user, which service they would prefer to, to use. Um, we've also made the decision to start paying current and trickle backwards to anything that needs to be back pay. And why are we doing that? Most of the people who have back pay are the ones who are getting paid currently. 
right? Because we're paying all the bonuses out on a weekly basis. It doesn't make sense on an administrative level to keep trying to catch up with back payment when we have people who are making payments currently um, that need to be made. So it is our recommendation that we pay everything from the front and trickle backwards. All right, but at least people know they're still getting paid weekly because we are still paying weekly. It's just we have a backlog now from when we had some system downtime and everything else, um, transitions, a lot of other things going on in the market. So I just need a little bit of patience and understanding with that. But it also encourages the new people coming in to know that we are paying. But I don't think it's fair for the new people coming in to have to pay or wait to get paid because the people who are already here are also getting paid are getting a backlog. So to me, that makes the most amount of sense. Um, we'll start from the front, keep it rolling back until we're completely caught up. This way, everybody is getting paid uh, consistently, which is always our goal to do so. Now, in um, a, a word just quickly about the uh, trading accounts, guys, I, we've always been extremely, extremely flexible. And it's one of the reasons why we've grown to the base that we have is our flexibility. But no business allows people to just withdraw huge sums of money at at, at free will. And again, it's not our intention to not give people their capital. All right. However, people do need to understand the nature of the business. And if money is trading and everybody wants to panic and and withdraw and, and do everything else, that it's going to cause a backlog in doing so because we have to forcibly close trades in order to release. And that's what we've been trying not to do. Uh, you guys have seen the market recently, um, whether somebody is trading or not trading or whatever, there's this freezes going on all over the place. So we're not doing anything that's not normal, but I just want people to understand that we've seen cases quite often where people withdraw, they go to other businesses, they lose everything in such a short period of time. It's embarrassing. And, and and it's heartbreaking to see people leave what we've built sometimes in, with all good intention and sincerity to have to go to other businesses because they're either fearing or panicking or just want to try something else and see how it works or throw their money at things because it's promising them more return to only see that it gets eaten up literally right in front of them probably faster than I've ever seen it done in, in, in this market. So I just want people to be careful and mindful about that, you know, that if you want to go try something else, I always encourage people to do so if that's what they want to do. But try not to pull from one source to do it in another, because if it doesn't work out, you are coming back, which a lot of them do most of the time, with less than what you started with. And it's not what I want to see happen for people. It's not the reason why we're here. And I want people to just be mindful and just be careful because these stories, sometimes I hear them, it's, it's really heart-wrenching to see what goes on out there. And we're not even anywhere near what some of these other companies are doing, and it's still causing people some distress. I want people to have a little bit of um, comfort and peace, knowing that we are still working very hard, very diligently every day to make sure that we continue what we've built Um, It doesn't mean we're not going to run into problems. Problems happen, but we're not the type of people to run away from anything. All right. And knowing that you have people here that care about what we do, how we do it, and who benefits from it is, to me, I don't know, that, that alone should give people a little peace of mind. All right. Because I've seen us change too many lives. And what we do makes a difference and it makes a difference to us. All right. And okay. Before I get all emotional, stop it, CEO. Um, I just want you guys to know how much we we do care and and love you guys. And, um, no matter what, uh, we will lay down for you guys and, and do whatever we have to, to make sure that this business continues and we continue to feed people because nobody else can say that they've done that. Nobody else can say that they've done what we've done for the last few years. And God did not give us his plan and did not give us his mission to only have it sink. It's not going to. All right. So um, let me know what you need for now. I just wanted to give you a quick update. And um, we'll, we'll talk in a bit. Let me tell you this, guys. And this is my sentiment. We don't know what goes on behind the scenes in Novatech. We just know what they've shared with us. 
What I can tell you is this. Um, these businesses, all of them, all of the cryptocurrency, trading, Forex, derivatives, options, anything in this decentralized space has a lot of level of risk. And you have to know and understand through education. And the only place that you're going to get it, for the most part, is on YouTube. All right? YouTube University is literally the freest, if that's a word. All right? The, but the most upscale, best place to get all the information that you could ever want on just about any industry all right and i'm not here to say that hey you can go become a doctor and, and you don't need a license to do what you need to do what i'm here to say is that there's a level of risk that comes with the type of rewards and profits that novatech has been able to actually pay out all right and that doesn't just go for novatech that goes for literally all of the different platforms that people like yourselves or crypto enthusiasts like myself are a part of the passive space is extremely lucrative but it's also ex extremely volatile all right and it's also uh, very very risky because they're not your regular bank they're not your regular 401k they're not your your regular ira or thrift account where everything is regulated and you, you pretty much know that it's going to take you 10 20 or 30 years all right to really see anything that will allow you the freedom to do what you want when you want and pay people what you don't feel like doing so you have to understand the level of risk and once you understand that then you can have right a wealthy mindset because i think a lot of people truly want to put a dollar amount on everything guys the one thing i will tell you about novatech all right and I'm, I'm telling you this as a customer as a member like hundreds of thousands of people probably in a hundred countries are all right um novatech is not going to make you rich overnight i can assure you there are hundreds of platforms out there right now that can literally allow you to flip your money every 30 60 to 90 days here's the challenge with that the level of risk is going to be way up here, which means you better get in really early, <laughs> all right, and start taking your money out really quickly so that you can become one of the early adopters of what we call these money games. The Novatech platform, all right, again, being in this space since 2013 and just kind of watching what's going on passively, even before crypto was like the, the real means of exchange back and forth when i'm talking about there was paypal and there was skrill and perfect money and debit cards and credit cards where you can play these money games which for the most part you lost right um cryptocurrency has really really changed uh the scope of how people can truly bridge the gap all right and move currency because that's what crypto is it's just a digital type of currency across the globe to help whatever initiative or missions that people may have in life so anyway with that being said um novatech is the real deal i think um again very few companies have been able to do it and sustain as long as they have but like always guys these are not our companies we don't own it we are simply going on what it is that they share their vision and what it is that they do the minute they stop doing what they are um what they've been set up to do is the minute that we don't trust them and we don't believe them anymore all right so with that being said hey this is your boy dap with the nova mindset channel thank you guys for subscribing make sure again hit that subscribe button uh because i want to share as much wisdom as i can with each and every one of you because guess what life is so much better when you don't have to slave for that thing we call currency and cryptocurrency is another alternative where we all can grow as long as we know how to play all right with that being said guys have a great one talk to you guys later what's going on guys let me just reiterate on what's been said in that message from the ceo of uh, novatech cynthia Petion. she addressed very important things that everyone must be aware of in the early beginning stages of Novatech, you know, they give access to your money, right? Giving access to your trading balance, right? They still do, but due to the circumstances of what is taking place, especially on what transpired in, in Canada and in California and causes panic mode for people, not really understanding 
the mechanism of trading itself, automatically believe in the FUD means fear, uncertainty, and doubt. They started doing massive withdrawals, causing a backlog in the system. Okay? And we got to be mindful who we're listening to on the internet. Okay? Because don't just listen to someone, especially they're not involved in the company. Right? Would you bring your car to someone who they think they know about cars or to someone that not just know about cars that knows how to fix cars which one would you go to a credible source right a credible source that's who's been involved like myself since 2021 novatech has blessed many lives um throughout that time even in the birth uh, early days of june of 2019 the beginning of novatech right so we got to be, like I said, we got to be mindful who we're listening to. Don't just listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to these guys thinking everything is a Ponzi and stuff like that. We got to realize something, guys. If you knew what transpired back in May, what took place in May, the biggest crash, lunar crash, right? Did Novatech run away? No. They sustain themselves, and and that that time I was just so blown away that we even got a profit. But Novatech still delivered. What happened to prior companies at that time? They rugged. They rugged. They're no longer here right now. Novatech is still standing in their fourth year in business. What is that saying? Because most companies, most majority of these um, platforms don't last not even one year. Not alone two years. If you're lucky two years, if that. But going in their fourth year and they people thinking is a scam, is a Ponzi, oh, they're not paying. Listen, you still have access to your, your, your money. Now for the trading... We're not going to see things taking place not till April 1st. So we can't jump the gun and 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 um, baffle them and negative be negative and say, hey, you know, they're not paying. Listen, if Novatech if Nova wanted to just, um, just leave, they would have did it a long time ago. They would have did it a long time ago. And for them to still be here and still be transparent is, 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 is a lot of work overload. For any business goes through hurdles. They go through, you know, pains, growing pains. You know, when I got started, it was just, just shy of around a hundred and some thousand. Now they're well over 500 plus thousand members, which is amazing. And we're still growing. So what I can tell you, if you listen to this right now, don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to um, people saying, hey, this is a Ponzi. They don't have no clue what they're talking about because they're not, be they're not behind the scenes of what's going on. They just listen to other people thinking it's true, which is not true. Okay? So, leave you this. You know, Novatech, me, my personal belief, Novatech is here to stay. If, if it was not here to stay, why would the CEO even do an MAA in the beginning of the year? Think about that for a second. If it was a Ponzi, it would have left a long time ago, around the, other, the time of the lunar crash. That was the probably really perfect time to do the rug pull, if you want to so-call a rug pull of this opportunity, which... I find it so ironic that people just don't do their own re research and don't understand the value of money, don't understand trading, okay? Money's being traded, and you're thinking this system, people want to say, hey, this is a Ponzi to rob Peter to pay Paul. This is a profit-based system. There's no guarantees here at all. This is not going to make you rich overnight. But it's a profit-based system that is sustainable. Because if it wasn't a profit-based system, 
Therefore, the, the, um, Novatech wouldn't be in their fourth year in business. So don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to this channel. All right. And I'm going to leave the link below in the description if you want to sign up and get involved. And if you have any questions, leave a comment in below. Thank you. And God bless.